Welcome to the second in my series on the Genesee Valley Canal. Before we get started, I want to make a correction to the starting point of the GV Canal. This is the map that I showed in part one video. Okay, in my first video, I showed the Erie Canal following which is now Broad Street and the Genesee Valley Canal joined right here followed Canal Street this was not exactly correct I found out after I released the first video that the Genesee Valley Canal joined right about here and followed this arch just like that so this was wrong this is the correct route only off by a couple hundred yards but I just wanted to make that correction before we continue on with part two of the Genesee Valley Canal thanks just to show you the origin of the Genesee Valley Canal again and the larger picture started right up here follow the blue line this is through residential areas in Rochester it ran right down through here into the Genesee Valley Park Genesee Valley Park is right here and our starting point for part two is going to be right there. So let's head on out there and get started on the part two abandoned Genesee Valley Canal. We are here in the Genesee Valley Park and of course the park did not exist in the 1800s but the canal did run right through here. Today we can follow this riverway trail, which leads us to the Genesee Valley Greenway Trail, which will take us all the way to Olean if we stay on it. So today we're gonna cover a couple mile stretch of this. So let's be on our way. Now after the GV Canal was abandoned, they built a railroad down this side of the canal. Right over here would have been the GV Canal. We're following it in a southerly direction. So this trail, which was the railroad from the 1880s till 1900s, this was on the east side of the canal, so our canal will always be to our right as we walk this trail. We come to a crossroads of the trail here. Again, the uh, Genesee Valley Canal would have run right down through this area here. kind of a low area that would have been the canal prism the intersection of this trail takes us over this bridge we'll walk out onto the bridge and look down at the Genesee River Again, the uh, Genesee Valley Canal followed the Genesee River all the way to Olean, New York, about 123 miles. Okay, let's go back and keep going on the 
regular canal trail. So right here, the railroad bed would have continued on. The trail makes a little turn and goes down here because there's a large footbridge over the Erie Canal up ahead. Gonna go off the trail here a little bit down to this platform by the river where we can see the Erie Canal crossing the Genesee. Okay, we're down here by the Genesee River. The Erie Canal, as I mentioned in my last video, was rerouted around Rochester in the early 1900s. So this, right over here, there's a, you can see a bridge. Under that is the Erie Canal. It joins into the Genesee River, goes across, and heads off that way in the easterly direction. So this Erie Canal area here did not exist in the 1800s. The Genesee Valley Canal was able to continue straight through without any problem. In, even the railroad that was built in the 1880s had no canal to worry about. So in the early 1900s they had to build a bridge over the canal and we'll see that up ahead. Let's go up there and examine that railroad bridge. Okay, this is the trail leading to the old railroad bridge. Alright, we're back here on the trail and you can see the ridge over there which is the railroad bed. The canal would have been just the other side of that. And as we walk up this trail, we begin to see the railroad trestle it had to be built in the 1900s, early 1900s. Concrete footbridge, but the Genesee Valley Canal and the railroad ran right down through here. And once again, this Erie Canal did not exist in the 1800s. It went straight through Rochester. This is the bypass around Rochester. So the canal 
could have continued right across on land. The railroad did not need a bridge until the early 1900s when they put in the Erie Canal out here. We're going to stroll down the other end of this bridge and look again at that railroad trestle. Alongside the trail here, just over the bridge that we passed over, is this large concrete structure. Not quite sure what this was used for. There's a pulley mechanism right on that side. Yeah, don't know what this was. It, it must have played some part in the Erie Canal during the earlier 1900s. Okay, we came down here off the trail. There's a major highway that goes overhead up there. It's going to be kind of noisy. We're down in this hollow spot below the railroad trestle. Going to get a little closer and take a look. Nice shot from underneath here. Again, this is going south this way. As we walk on beyond the Erie Canal crossing, the trail takes us along this ravine. And I believe this to be the dugout area of the original Tennessee Valley Canal. There's a nice little footbridge here. And again, the dugout area of a dried up canal is called a prism. So this would be the prism for the GV Canal. Very neat. An old power pole right there. And the railroad came through and followed the towpath alongside the canal. So this would this would have been the railroad bed. And now it's a walking trail. Coming to some gates. As we continue on the Genesee Valley Greenway, which followed the Genesee Valley Canal. And the sign says, we're now leaving the Rochester area, back in the Genesee Valley Trail. Again, right alongside is the old canal basin. The prism. As we walk this trail that once served as the towpath for the canal, later the railroad bed, and now the uh, walking trail, you can still see very vivid prism all the way along here that was the GV canal. At this point the canal prism disappears and the walkway is picked up 
I have about a half mile down the road. So that's this is the end of the line for this walk. We will pick it up when we get over on the other side. Well, that other trail uh, ended across the highway here. So we had to take a little detour around and we can pick it back up here at the little Black Creek Park. So we'll head on down in here and see if we can pick the trail back up. Okay, we can pick the trail back up right here. Again, that's a well-defined prism of the canal, the canal basin right down there. We're close to the airport, so we got airplanes flying over. And again, we are on the railroad bed side of the canal. And we have come to the spillway that we saw in the last video. I had arrived on the other side of this spillway. So we're going to take a walk down and across the canal prism and get close to that spillway again on this side. A little wet down in the middle here, but I think we can get across. Let's go up here and take a look at the back other side of this spillway. Now we can get some nice close-up views of the structure, the old cut stone. Again, this would have been built around 1840. Overhead. I don't imagine these wood beams have been around since 1840. They were probably put in at some later date so they could drive a vehicle over the top or something. You can see the notches in the blocks here and on the other side they would have stacked boards across here to create a dam and regulate the water level of the canal and allow it to water to spill over and run off. And it was probably in the 1800s, it was probably nothing but a wide open wilderness out there. Let's go up above and take a look at this from the top down. Again, we got the road right out there, kind of noisy. Planks going across here. I don't know, I think maybe they used this as a roadway after the canal was abandoned. A couple of days after I videoed this, I found out that a 10-mile bicycle path from the Genesee Valley Park to the village of Scottsville opened in 1896, built on the west side of the berm of the Genesee Valley Canal, opposite the railroad tracks. And so, they would have had to build a wooden bridge over the spillway. 
And here's a crowd of bicyclers in the Genesee Valley Park waiting to use the new trail when it opened in 1896. Okay, here we are back on the Greenway Trail, the old railroad bed. We're going to go down below here. There's a culvert that I showed, pointed out in the first video, runs completely underneath, underneath the canal, comes out on that other side. We're going to go down this side, take a look at the opening into the culvert. There we go, we got in a nice spot where the sun's not reflecting. And there's the culvert that was built in the mid 1800s. Okay, that was pretty neat. Let's continue on the trail a little farther. I think our trail is going to end once more. Now up ahead, I see remains of the old railroad tracks right here. Still in place. Now, just up ahead, the trail comes to an end. Way up, up ahead is a main rail line. It's still in use. So this Greenway Trail is diverted and picked up on the other side of the main rail line. We will pick the trail up on the other side of that main railroad line, either now or on the next video, I'm not sure. So if this is the end of this video, I want to thank you for watching and please join me for GV Canal video number three. Yes, well, this wraps up this edition. Please subscribe and hit the like button and we'll see you the next time.